Welcome to 813 Gardens. My name is Ed. Please take a second to like the video, comment, and most important, subscribe. What's up guys? This is Ed with 813 Gardens and today we're making strawberry hot sauce. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the main ingredients, which is habanero peppers, red reaper pepper, some sliced up habaneros is best, and also uh, one ghost pepper. As you can see, we're using uh, fermented habaneros that we uh, I showed you in a different video. We're gonna have four cups of strawberries. We're also going to have a cup and a half of brown sugar. This recipe also includes uh, one teaspoon of nutmeg and one cinnamon stick or two teaspoons of cinnamon, okay? So we're gonna put all the ingredients in a pot. Um, this sauce has to be cooked. So we're gonna put our strawberries in. Of course, we'll add our, our fermented sliced habanero peppers our brown sugar. It's gonna give us body in the sauce to thicken it up so it's not runny like regular hot sauce. I'm gonna use, I'm um, gonna add some, our nutmeg. Um, I'm gonna throw in a cinnamon stick in this situation here. You could use ground cinnamon if you want to, but I'm using a cinnamon stick. And um, one fermented ghost pepper. And we're also gonna sprinkle in some, some um, crushed red pepper. Just a dash is good. One teaspoon of salt. And four cups of water. And let's not forget, I also need to put in a couple teaspoons of white distilled vinegar. And we're gonna let the sauce simmer on medium heat for about 15 minutes. This just gives the, uh, all the ingredients a chance to, to meld together and also allows the uh, It also allows the brown sugar to thicken up the sauce. All right, after about 15, 20 minutes, your sauce should look like this. Basically, you're gonna have fully cooked strawberries and uh, your the texture of your the juice should be kind of a little bit thickened <laughs> gonna blend it all up on high speed for about two minutes I'd say And once you're done blending, basically your sauce is ready to be uh, put in a jar, whatever way you're gonna store it. In my case, I put it in five ounce woozy bottles. Um, we give a lot of the sauce away to family and friends, so we put it into five ounce bottles. So it's very simple with the woozy bottles. Uh, I bought it by the bottoms. I buy the bottles on Amazon and they come with this handy funnel which makes it so much easier. The funnel is measured to the size of the bottle. And basically you have five ounces 
of strawberry passion hot sauce. This strawberry hot sauce recipe is by far um, our most requested and favorite sauce that we make. It's good with chicken, fish, any meat that you can think of, it, it enhances the flavor. And believe it or not, it's even good on ice cream. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you leave a comment if you have any questions. Like the video, it helps out a lot. And if you haven't already, subscribe.